Today I will speak about pruning, pruning in apples and I would like to introduce a new pruning method that we develop in Europe uh, since 10 years and I would like to see if it's possible to apply it in, this, uh, uh, in the Tasmania environmental condition. We are in the Huon Valley in the upper orchard, six years old. We are talking about uh, uh, Gela, Gela cultivar, Bakai, the clone Bakai, and this is a plantation six, year, six years old. Uh, the tree space distances are four meter into one, so we are talking about 2,500 trees per hectare. So, when we are talking about pruning, I'm starting generally from the top of the tree, in order to have a very nice, a proper order from the top, middle, and a lower part. So when we are now on the top of the tree, uh, what I, I, I want to do now is to reduce the amount of buds in the top because we have plenty of buds in this case. So I will simplify my leader in order to have a cut in this way. This is my leader. We have plenty of nice, nice, nice buds. We have this one, which is very good because we have four or five uh, fruiting buds. Now coming down, I would I have these branches. We are talking about long cut pruning, so we need to these branches in order to fill up the space. But I want to simplify just the branches. I don't want complex branches because complex branches we create shade within the canopy. Now coming down, I will remove this one, which is a shoot that is fruiting branches, but is going upright. And this is, could be uh, left because we have a terminal, nice fl terminal flower bud. So coming down, we are still simplify the branches. And I would like to have lateral branches that are very uh, well, uh, in, in, in very nice position. In this case, coming down, I see this is a branches which is uh, uh, for me to be removed in order to give more space between the laterals. So this I will cut, leaving a stub in order to uh, promote uh, shoot renovation for the next years. So we are in the middle part of the tree. We are talking about always long cut pruning. So maybe I simplify the branches again. Now we are here. So we need to remove, these are my scaffold branches. So we are in the middle, lower part of the tree. I don't want to have overlap branches, so I need to remove this one, which is above the, the basic scaffold branches. And I will remove with this cut in order to, again, to promote uh, uh, new uh, lateral branches. And this is also, because we need to remove this because it's too strong. It's stronger the, than the leader. So we need to have another cut. Always with the stub. And now the trees are almost done. Because in this case, this is very weak. Uh, this is not so strong. Also this, but we have plenty of buds. And now we are in the lower side. Now I, what I want to do is to simplify the branches. So generally, I'm starting from the external part and I'm going inside. In, we can simplify again. We can remove these stronger branches. And now we have a simplified branches. Also here, this is our branches. This is another one. I don't want too much secondary branches or at least I want to shortcut them in order to have one branches, long one and very weak lateral secondary branches. In this case it's okay, I can leave like this. This is too weak, maybe I shorten back a little bit and this is okay. So in this moment what is my suggestion is this, just to have two big renewal cut along the, the axis, the main axis, to have a very um, a simplified uh, leader and also uh, I simplified the lateral branches. This is the trees that I, I, I think is good 
uh, for this kind of plant in density in order to have a better light penetration and we will create new points for new uh, limbs for the next year. Just to reassume what I did, finally I, I left uh, all my lateral branches, weak, I, want, I prefer uh, weak lateral branches on, on the top, little bit stronger on the bottom. And if you see, my cuts are only, the big cuts are two, this one and this, in the opposite uh, side. This, this tab will promote new limbs for the next year. And so, um, in plus, I, I, I promote a lot of, uh, uh, I improve the light penetration in the uh, uh, above the scaffold branches. We don't want overlap branches. Uh, which create a lot of shade, so we need space, we, we need light and this will improve definitely uh, the, the, the light penetration, the quality and uh, we did not reduce too much quantity because if you account all the fruiting buds are plenty of so this tree will require definitely uh, chemical thinning in order to set the uh, production in the lower part, you can see we have long branches, as usual in the uh, long cut pruning. I short back, in this case, the, the branches uh, just on the one lateral uh, shoot, secondary shoot, because I wanted to have a, a shorter uh, limbs, because otherwise we will have fruits on the ground. And so, in this case, we respect the space, uh, the three space distances and we are uh, in, even in the up lateral here and so we have a very nice we, uh, uh, trees that uh, uh, cover all the, the available space as we wanted.